Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button for more videos. Explore na natin yung bagong platform ni PDAX. So, first, you need to access this URL, pdax.ph, if first time mo pa. Then, click mo, click mo tong start trading na button. So, after clicking, you will be redirected to this page, trade.pdax.ph. So, if ever next time, gusto mo nang dumiretso dito, tandaan mo lang to or i-bookmark mo yung URL na to. So, if, if you are a new user, um, click mo lang itong register then input mo yung email then choose Philippines since nasa Philippines ka click mo tong I am not a robot if you are a human <laughs> then click mo tong acceptance then click yung register then after clicking that one you will receive a confirmation link sa email mo so you need to click that link then you need to provide the password so after providing after providing the password ayun May account ka na kay PDAX. So, balik muna tayo dito. Then, uh, okay. Ito yung homepage ng exchange. So, Philippines Leading Cryptocurrency Exchange. So, from here, ito yung mga prices na available for BTC. Check nyo. Then, yung bid and ask volume. So, click nyo lang to. Then, may choices din dito for USDT. So now, click ko na tong login button since my account na ako. Since my account na ako. Click mo tong click mo yung I am not a robot because I am not a robot. Login Okay, so upon clicking the login button, you will be redirected to this page and ito yung default page which is the portfolio. So under sa portfolio, nandito lahat ng total balance mo. Total balance means the, the sum of your digital asset and fiat currency. So ano itong mga di digital asset? So ito yung mga digital asset. Then yung fiat is the... PHP. And then, ano pa ba? So, click muna natin. Activities. So, sa page na to, lahat ng transaction mo, like cash in, cash out, and crypto in, crypto out, and also uh, buy and sell, lahat yun magre-reflect dito sa activities. For funds, if you want to add more, sa PHP mo, uh, click mo yung payment in. So later uh, on the or on the next video, I will teach you how to use this payment in feature. Same with payment out. So click mo lang. Tong payment out is if gusto mo na siyang withdraw. So pag click mo yung cash out, ito yung mga choices niya. Then for payment in So, ito yung mga choices din. So, sa next video na yan. And then, transfer funds. So, ito yung bago. Ano tong transfer funds? Okay. What is primary and exchange? So, sa next video na natin yan i-discuss. Next is, click natin tong trade na menu. So, Itong page na to, ito na yung order book. Uh, ito na yung exchange. So, ito yung bagong order book ni PDAX. Then, ito yung mga list of crypto pairs. PHP, PHP and BTC. So, ito yung buy, sell, limit market, FAK. Bago tong FAK. So, yeah. Ito yung bagong platform ni PDAX. So, PHP, XRP. Okay. Then, ito yung graph. Then, so, yeah. Sa so next video na natin to i-explore more. Then, click natin tong digital asset address. So, pwede tayong mag-add ng contact. 
So, ito yung, for example, anong name, like, uh, from other exchange. So, lagay mo yung, yung reference name is from other exchange, then kung ano yung, yung address niya. So, if you want to transfer from other exchange to PDAX, so, pwede, pwede nyo na siyang i-add contact para automatic at di na kayo always mag-copy-paste ng mga address. And then, what's this? Okay, notification. So, no notifications for the moment. Then, here, pag click mo itong link na to or itong arrow na to, um, ito yung mga lalabas. Ito yung lalabas. So, report. What is report? Okay. So, pwede mo siyang i-export lahat ng reports na nagawa mo sa platform. Trade re report, transfer fund report. So, this is useful para matrack mo yung lahat ng mga transaction mo. Then, for settings, nandito lahat. General. Um, pwede kang pumili. Okay, for now, PHP pa lang yung available. Time zone. Okay, depende kung ano yung trip mo. Kung gusto mong Africa, sige, select mo yan. Pero since nasa page, uh, sa Philippines ka, so kung ano yung time zone natin, yun yung i-select mo dapat. So if you are a new user, click mo tong upgrade account. Kasi if you are a new user, hindi ka pa verified. So to upgrade and to increase your limits, you need to upgrade it. So, may kasi na-verified na, na ako eh. So, may mga uh, may button dyan if hindi ka pa verified. Mag-upload ka lang ng ID at saka input mo yung mga details mo para maging verified ka. So, once na-submit mo na siya maghintay ka lang ng 1 to 2 days if yung mga na-upload mong documents are valid. Then, once na approve, yeah, verified user ka na. Then, also, you can change your password. So, dapat tandaan mo tong current password mo kasi kung di mo tanda, di ka makalagin dito. <laughs> then, security. So, we can add 2FA. So, to be secured, you need to add 2FA. And, I think, required then yung 2FA for crypto in and crypto out transfer out. So, for now, yun lang muna. And, check my uh, my other videos for more details regarding the PDAX platform. Thank you for watching.